The thing about fitness is it's very personal. Your chances of being able to sustain an exercise program are tremendously increased if you do it in accordance with your personality. If you do something outside of your personality, you do it a couple of days, but it's just not going to be something you sustain. It's the same thing about finding a job that you love, you know, finding you know, your, your work that you love, finding friends. I mean, it's just like, if, if it goes with you, it's a lot easier. If it's not with you, it's really going to be strong. I heard, heard from recently who told me that the egg colors made a huge difference in her life. And um, she was, um, she's a very busy, um, um, banker and um, she was exercising somewhat kind of on and off and when she read about her color and we you know we worked with her color she realized her, her fitness personality which is her it's a color-coded one that, that she's a person who is introverted um, she uh, doesn't like large crowds. She um, likes to be by herself. She's very planful. And this is these were all the things that she wasn't doing. You know, she was going into a busy gym, which she hated, but she thought she should. I mean, she's, she's a disciplined enough person that she was kind of making herself do it, even though it wasn't. And before. she started, it was like, aha, like she realized it's okay not to like a busy gym. So she started working out much earlier in the morning. She really said no to any kind of conversation. She didn't try to work out with anybody else. She turned down all of those invitations. She got very planful um, about her activities because she's really a natural planner. And um, she just ran, she's probably running now about three marathons a year. She just got back from the San Francisco Marathon. Great time, real hard body, and completely different than um, you know, the person who about a year ago was really struggling with just getting to the gym. But she said it just opened up a whole new world for her. So. Exercise has so many um, mental and emotional benefits in terms of, of depression, in terms of mental acuity, in terms of, of confidence. You know, I could go on and on and on and on. Um, you know, I think what what I've done, and I'm not a personal trainer, you know, my background is a, is a psychologist, but what I've done is trying to create a program where people can find their path to physical activity and get these benefits. Um, that's, that's really what I try to do, but I know for me, you know, at this point in my life, I, I cannot um, imagine living without being physically active. It, I, I just can't. I mean, I just can't imagine being able to think my way through the day and, and um, you know, without getting, getting you know, at least, um, um, you know, I, I, I can think weekly or I can think daily, but, you know, getting, getting at least, you know, I, I kind of shoot for around 45 minutes a day of, um, of activity. So, you know, and I think that's true. That, that seems to be what people say. Once they've kind of crossed over, and they become regular exercisers, it's very hard to go back because you know you've lost something. You've lost that acuity. You've lost, you know, you become perhaps more depressed. You're not thinking as clearly. Um, you're not on top of your game. But they're not effective for right. most people. They're right. really not. Because um, for people who are really not fit, they don't want to show that side of themselves. And you know, in with their colleagues, for people that are fit, it just provides another convenience that they will get other places. So they're starting now to provide more access. You know, more like uh, you know, uh, give them a certain amount of money to go to a gym or degree or yoga classes or you know, bike to work and things like that. Now, blues are very routine oriented. They exercise as and a they write down in their calendar. Uh, 
uh, what they're going to do and when they're going to so do tell it. Tell me about your exercise. What, what do you do for mm -hmm. exercise? Hey, well, Monday and Wednesday and Friday, I do the elliptical for 45 minutes. And then on Tuesday and Thursday, I, I um, go, I walk to work. And they will tell me exactly what they've been, exactly what and they So their challenge is to mix it up a bit. You'd have to really give them a reason to mix things up because they're not going to want to do it ordinarily. They're really comforted by routine, by doing something in the way they've done in the past. Mm -hmm. Now, so that works for them. Now, let's say what doesn't work is when their routine gets, gets disrupted. So often in blue, if they're traveling, um, they, they, they can't accustom, get themselves accustomed to a new gym, for instance. So mm -hmm. I will, um, and they will need to make, make serious plans ahead of time if they want to, um, to do this. Now I want to just give you a, a great example because I was um, in Vermont and we had a speaker coming in to, um, to uh, work with an a, uh, organization that I'm part of so that we were talking in February and I asked him, I knew he was a swimmer, mm -hmm. and I asked him, he's a blue, and I asked him if he could speak, it was asked um, on an extra night, um, which would have been Wednesday night, and he said, yeah, that'll work out because I'm not swimming that night. <laughs> this is in oh, February, and we're talking about men. Time <laughs> after time, that's a very typical blue uh, comment. And if you know blues in your life, they are very comfortable making plans with excuse me, way ahead of time. So it's not just about exercise. They can make plans um, mm -hmm. way ahead of time. Just, are you a blue? We got a blue here. Okay, <laughs> make plans way ahead of time. And it's comforting and it works. It works blue great. Blue is highly motivated by their commitments. And actually they are, when they make a commitment to themselves, that is a strong motivation to exercise as the exercise itself. So. So if you find a blue, for instance, who will, um, if they have made a commitment, they, that's, they're in. And there are ways that blues will do, will trick themselves into it. They will pack the night before. They will, I know, um, thinking about interviewing a blue who, um, she said she knows when she, she packs her inhaler, she has asthma, that she will be exercising. So they do these things like that. And they're very, very comfortable with advanced planning. Advanced planning is, is comforting to them. Blues are very concerned about form, they're very concerned about safety, really concerned about safety. There are many people actually they don't exercise because they don't think it's safe. They, they're very afraid of injury. Blues will wear their, their reflectors at night, they're going to be out at night, they're not going to go over like a silver, it's going to go over to a dumbbell rack and just to pull one up, you know. Blues would never do anything like that. They never do that. It's a whole routine. Very, it's a routine, it's safety, they want to learn step by step. Um, very systematic, don't get bored by the same old, same old is comforting. Silvers, reds, want more variety. Um, and just would try anything. I'd try anything, yeah. Give it a try. Um, contrast that with, let's say, a red. So, reds are, they want to stay open as possible. The reds are like, they're big outdoor, physical activity, fun. You know, always on the go. You know, one of the things that I want to say is that all types can do everything, and they but they do it for different reasons. But let's say basketball is a very quick response um, sport, very high action, very quick response. Something like basketball, snowboarding, racquetball. These are quick response sports. Um, my brother, I grew up with a with a brother who was a red, and he always carried a basketball in his trunk. He never wanted to be without a basketball in his trunk. And he said, well, if he's driving around and he sees a quarter, he's, you know, he wants to be able to stop. This is very, this would not happen wow. to a blue, all I can tell you. Right. If you ask a red what their trunk looks like, I mean, we have pictures, you know, pictures on my website of what, I mean, there it's like a sports swap. <laughs> I mean, there's, you know, a wet suit, a, you, know, a, you know, a dry suit, goggles, a bathing suit. I mean, they always want to be ready for an, you know, for an opportunity. Right. So they want to have that spontaneity. So you just, you know, that'll give you, you know, you've got the planful and then you've got spontaneous. And these are, you know, all, that's just, just some extremes. I could go on, but that just gives you an idea. So, you know, people, people. It's like the James Bond of fitness. <laughs> <laughs>